The beaches are open and people are back out in that sun here in Florida. It's a great time to remember to use sunblock. But here's a question for you. How do you know which one to buy? Eight on your side, we looked into the results of some new testing. And this was to make sure that you don't spend a lot of money to get a lot of UV protection. You don't need to be on a beach to get burnt. No matter where you are outside, you need to apply sunscreen to any exposed skin, even if it's cloudy out or not super hot. Wise advice to remember when you're out in the Bay Area. And you still need to protect yourself even if you're indoors with the AC cranked up near a sunny window. Glass blocks the UV rays that can cause sunburn, but it can let through some of the UV rays that are primarily responsible for wrinkles and skin cancer. Go into any drugstore or grocery store, and you often see tons of sunblock options. Consumer Reports is revealing its sunscreen testing results. The test took into account a product's water resistance claim. The two top performers? Consumer Reports says their Trader Joe Spray SPF 50 Plus and Copper Tone Ultra Guard Lotion SPF 70. Each top rated sunscreen contains an ingredient called oxybenzone. The concern with oxybenzone is that there's some evidence that it's absorbed through the skin more than previously thought. That doesn't necessarily mean it's unsafe, but the American Academy of Pediatrics suggests parents may want to use oxybenzone-free sunscreen on their kids. Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Ultra Radiance Lotion SPF 50 and Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless Lotion SPF 30 were the highest scoring oxybenzone-free sunscreens in Consumer Reports tests. Now, parents out there, you may want to choose lotion sunscreens for your kids. You see, use spray sparingly because children may inhale the spray, which could actually cause lung irritation.